6 6 left hander Daniel Lynch for the third time this year. Daniel Lynch, man, is he exciting to watch. You know why? Because he can pitch. And it will be Romy Gonzalez in his first major league start playing leadoff man. He's faced Lynch in the minor leagues. If Daniel's on his game, the first batter, he should be, and there he goes. He comes right back with the slider. Now 28 of his 41 strikeouts this year have been on this pit. How's the big league taste now? It's really <laughs> tough. Here is Robert playing center field. Oh, Luis Robert charges this ball up left center field. No chance. It is a splash down. He did not miss that ball. Woo. <laughs> How strong is that dude? He hits a fastball about 435 feet right here, and it is a no doubter to deep, deep left center. It's one nothing White Sox in the first, his seventh of the season. So with two down, it brings up Yasmani Grandal, switch hitter batting right-handed. Here's the pitch. There's a drive to center. Well hit and deep, and it will go. A home run. Two-run homer, Grandal. 3 nothing in the first. Talk about putting a charge in a 3-2 fastball. We just witnessed it. What a difference a day makes. And they will face a rejuvenated Reynaldo Lopez. We talked about it on the pregame. Reynaldo has come in with a different attitude ever since he got sent down and he came back up. He also was working in the pen. Up the middle, Lopez has the boomerang. And there is out number one. Now faces Nicky Lopez, the shortstop. 2-2 <laughs> two, two, struck him out. Reynaldo Lopez, you see his reaction? It was almost like he knew it was going to be a strikeout. His confidence is through the roof. Cesar Hernandez leads off. 3-0 White Sox, inning number two. He mentioned his 21 home runs, a career high, and now he takes a slider from Lynch and strike three called. The number nine hitter, the shortstop, Danny Mendick. Merrifield shovels it to Santana. Nice stretch. Got him. Witt makes everything look easy, but they're not. Like very soft hands. He's able to just shovel it over there, no problem. He's aboard, and the batter is a Abreu. The 3-2. That ball is ripped. He got his hands around on a high fastball and stroked it to left. Ball four, throw to third, gets into left field. Robert's going to get up and score. And Abreu's into third. So it was a walk, and Gallagher threw it into left field. Gallagher whips it well over third base. Jimenez walks to first, and it's 4 nothing. Yeah, they're going to have a chat with Lynch. They think something could be wrong with him. You know what they're looking at is his hand, and it looks like might be a little, little, little a blister or something. Exactly. And the red hot Grandall at the plate. He's already hit a two run homer tonight. The 0 1 is hammered into center. That's a base hit. Abreu scores. Grandall's got three RBIs tonight. It is five to nothing, and he keeps on squaring up baseballs. So runners at the corners again, this time with one away. And an RBI chance for Leori Garcia. Garcia a line drive to left Benintendi fading on it and this will be an RBI for Leori Garcia on a sacrifice fly and it's six nothing Sox here in the third and Rivera begins the bottom of the third inning with a double Cam Gallagher's at the plate Gallagher with a base hit here comes Rivera the throw to the plate by Vaughn offline the Royals on the scoreboard Perez with a runner at first two down Perez to dead center field. Robert back. And see you later, Alex Gordon. Because Salvador Perez is now fourth all time in Royals history with home runs with 191. That's what the folks came to see. Salvador Perez unloaded on that fastball with no doubter. 39th on the season. It is a 6-3 game. All I know is at this point, runners on the corners and a huge run for Abreu to drive in. Another 2-2. Swing and a drive to center. Well hit. And it is over Taylor's head right at the wall. Mendick scores. Robert to third. Jose's got a double. His 500th career extra base hit. 
It's seven to three. And the bases are loaded with one down for the Sox here in the fourth. Yaz wanted to tee off and he skies it to center field. It's Robert at third and Taylor makes the catch. Robert tags. He's on his way home and the Sox get another run here. It's eight to three and that feels kind of important just for a little extra separation. Chance for his first major league RBI. On the ground third base side. And there it is the first RBI for Romy Gonzalez Garcia scores and it's nine to three and you might want to save that baseball number five and the Royals have runners at the corners with two down for Salvador Perez delivers and a swing and a high fly ball deep left center field way back and that ball is gone another home run for Salvador Perez his 40th a three run shot. And the Royals again pull within three. It's nine to six. Carlos has not hit a home run in well over a month. Santana with a blast. And the drought is over. He had got 131 at bats since his last home run, but he teed off on Michael Kopech. It is nine seven. And Salvador Perez will bat as the tying run in the seventh inning. Seventh inning, this is the at bat of the ball game. Two and two. There it is, and down he goes. That's nasty. Strike a guy out like that after the day he's had? Wow. He wasn't close, Gordo. No. Batter is born with runners at first and third. The stretch and the pitch. There's a base hit into right. Abreu will score. Grandall stops at second. It's 10 to 7. That's a huge add on run. See what Liam's been doing. We all know him closer for the White Sox, right? I mean, he's going to throw a fastball. He's going to come right at guys. One, two. Oh, slider tight down at the bottom of the zone. Two down. Sox could end up with a ten and a half game lead. Cleveland lost earlier. There's a line shot caught. Garcia third down <laughs> to a knee. That ball caught him more than he caught it. But the White Sox beat the Royals tonight. And the final score from Kauffman Stadium, White Sox 10, Royals 7.